Hey everybody, I'm doing this video on the HTC Inspire. Um, I'm doing this because, yeah, because I like the phone. So, um, I had an HTC Inspire, but it got run over by a car. Um, so pretty much, I'm going to show you what happened to it. So hold on, let me get it. This is what happened to my phone getting run over by a car. And, um, yeah, it's pretty messed up. Um, so, it's, um, by at and and I, um, I love this phone to death, and I was so sad when I got run over by a car. Um, so I've been using the Blackberry, which sucks because I hate the Blackberry. It's a fagberry to me. Um, so I had insurance, thank goodness, and it's only 10 bucks a month, I believe, 10 bucks a month, and, um, because it's a newer phone, it's 125 deductible, which completely sucks. And so, um, I will show you the new one right now. And that beeping sound was me getting a text message. So, yeah. So, hold on one second. Because I don't want to be, like... I don't want it to be blowing up while I have my my thing. Um, while I have it, so here is the new one I just got today. Pretty, pretty. There's a bunch of marks on it because of my touch. Because it's a touch screen. I'll go like this. So now I'm going to talk about it. Um, they stopped texting me. Um, I love this phone so much. For one, it's a touch screen. All touch screen besides the um, volume button right here. Which is up, down, and the lock button. Right there. That's on the top. Um, that are the only buttons on this phone. Everything else is touch screen. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's pretty actually simple touch screen. If you like to personalize it a lot, have a lot of apps, have a lot going on, um, I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about, then this is like a really good phone for you. I had the Windows 7 phone. Totally hated it because I couldn't do ringtones. I couldn't do anything like that. And this I can. So, yeah. So, hold on. <laughs> So, pretty much, if you unlock it, it's going to go like this, and then you're going to slide it down, and oops, I was pushing the side button, see how it goes up, down, volume, see, down, Okay, so that's that, and then um, when you first actually get the phone, it's going to pop up with, um, it's all default stuff, it's going to have a bunch of stuff all on the screen. Now if I go like that, I pinch it, okay, I'll go like this so you can see better. So, can you see better? Yeah. So pretty much these are all the different apps. These are all the different pages you have on your phone. Um, so, pretty much, turn it on. Um, when you first unlock it, it pops up to this. You can move if you hold and touch. You move it, drag it, it drags. So, I'm going to put it back where I want it. Which is right there. Then you just slide nice slide I like it a lot right here's a notification bar 
just pull it down and then that's your little notifications so um that's that and then this is the text message if you click on messages right right there and it pops up with them Sorry, um, so when it comes to texting, it's actually really, really, really cool. Um, I like it a lot. Um, pretty much, I'll show you if you go. I'll go to new composer message. Okay. So now you just click where it says tap tap to add a text. Go tap. And it pops up with this keyboard. Then you just gently touch all over, blah blah blah. That's pretty cool. Um if I were to type something, it would teach you everything, but if I were to type like Let's see. Um. Hi. It will go automatic. See if I don't do hi, I'll do like H U. It'll have hi right next to it or Y, thinking that I did type that. So it has automatic um like dictionary, I guess, for yourself. So that is that, and then um. All these buttons on here are pretty cool. Uh, you have your this button right here, and it brings you to your search. You can search your messages. Now, depending on where you are, it will show you um, like if I show if I go right here to the home screen and I do that little search, it will go to search my whole phone, search everything because I'm in the home screen. Now, if I were to go to my email. And I push search, it's just gonna be searching my email only, you know? So I'm gonna go to my right here, my messages again, and then go to menu, and that pops up. All these little things, just like click around, figure out what's going on, you know? Um, it's actually pretty fun, um, because it gives you a little tutorial. Now, um, and then always is your home button right there and it brings you to here and you just slide around now with pictures it has a really 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 good camera um i'm not too sure if it, how good a quality will come out on this webcam but let's see if i could find a good picture this is one of the pictures if you could i don't know if you could see how clear And it flips when you turn it. Voila. Voila. So it's actually like crazy clear. You'll be so amazed. Like this picture. I don't even know how to explain how amazing it is. Um, I'll post a link. I guess I'll post the picture. Like a link of the picture down below. So you guys can see how amazing it is. Because it is absolutely incredible. Like oh my gosh. And um. I don't even know how that could be possible. So, pretty much you go to your gallery, you just skim through all your stuff. I don't have that many pictures, just 42, and they're not all the ones I took. Um, so... And, um, but a lot of people right here, if you click this button, this one right here, watch. It's right, the little arrow. If you click on it, it will go to your all your apps. And you just skim through, and those are all of them you have. 
And you can always get a lot. You also can get a lot of widgets too. Um, a lot of people don't know what that is. But yeah, so you go there. So. So if I go to, a lot of people are curious um, with certain apps or certain phones, they don't have good security. Now, um, if you go to it, go to, let's find it, settings, it's in alphabetical order. So if you click on settings and setting looks like that right there, click on settings, you go to security, set up SIM card lock or screen lock, I'll do screen lock, and now right here it says, you can see it says you could either do a none pattern pin or password now the pattern is pretty cool um, a pin is like numbers just numbers four numbers or how many numbers you want and then the password is uh, as many letters numbers anything you want I mean it's a password so using the whole keyboard you could use it now with the pattern is pretty cool because you click on pattern and then it looks like that and so you just pick your own pattern so I'll go like this you just drag your finger across and then it'll say okay is that what you want it's recorded so do continue then you do it again to make sure you got it right and then you do confirm and now if I were to close it, unlock it, now it'll pop up. I'll do it, and voila. There's also a really cool thing about this is if I go back to security and I go to um, use invisible pattern. Now it's use visible pattern. Now if I take that off, now if I go to lock, unlock it it's not gonna show you where you are writing it'll just say incorrect until you let go because you could just go ding 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 as many times as you like so see. so you could do any pattern you want um i think that's pretty cool a lot of people trip on that so pretty much that's it for the HTC Inspire. If there's something special you wanna know about with it, um, let me know and I'll do like, how do you download apps? How do you get to the market? How do you do text messaging? Can you do this? Can you do that? Anything, any questions you have, I'm like a pro at this phone. So let me know. Um, also right at the very top is where you put your ear and where you listen to. And there's a blinking light. Right here. Right here's your GPS. So it looks kind of backwards, but yeah. So if you have any questions, comment me. And um, thanks for watching the tutorial, I guess you can call it, or the get to know. Um, HGC Inspire. Thanks.